Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah from the prophetic dua or duaat or da'wat of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam is a beautiful short and concise dua and I'll try to post it later uh, in Arabic or in English uh, so that way it'll be easy for hifth and in fact we'll repeat it three times just so the people, uh, for those who want to memorize this very simple supplication <clears throat> and way of remembrance for straightness and guidance from Allah that they will be able to do so. And the dua is from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam that you'll find in Sahih Muslim in which the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Allahumma inni as'aluka huda wa sadad. Allahumma inni as'aluka al huda was sadad. Allahumma inni as'aluka al huda was sadad. Which means, O oh Allah, I beg you for guidance and uprightness. So here in this hadith or in this dua, this prophetic supplication of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, uh, we see that first this is a actualization of Tawheed. That here the servant is begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, Verily, I seek or I ask from you guidance and uprightness. So here you're asking Allah Azza wa Jal, which is from his to from his tawheed, because your ibadah is to Allah Azza wa Jal alone. This is tawheed al ibadah. This is the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone, and you're asking and begging and imploring your Lord Subhanahu wa Taala to give you guidance. All of us need guidance to the Suratullahi al-Mustaqim. We all need guidance to the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all need forgiveness. We all need guidance. We all need uh, salvation. We all need firmness. As-salallahu with a bat. We seek guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us sincerity to him and ithbat and firmness upon the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in the khutbah, in the khutbat al hajjah we hear the ayat all the time in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyu al nas, ittaqullaha wa qulu qawlan sadeeda yuslih lakum ma'amalakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubukum wa man yut'illaha wa rasuluhu fakad faza fawzan azima. In which the imam or the khatib, he implores Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by this ayat, Ya ayyu al amanu, O you who believe, Ya ayyu al amanu, uh, you know, say a truthful and straight and upright saying, meaning that your, your speech is straight and it's upright. So we're imploring Allah, you know, here we're being commanded by Allah Azza, uh, Azza wa Jal to be upright, to be straight, to be good with our speech. So that's why we have to be cautious with how we use our tongues. Uh, and and what is the reward for that? Yuslih lakum a'malakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So through our speech, if, if we're straight, if we're truthful, if we're direct, if we're upright, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubukum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, correct and rectify your deeds. Correct, rectify your affairs. Yuslih lakum a'malakum. And he will give you forgiveness for your sins. And as we mentioned, uh, according to the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu all the children of Adam commit sins, and the best of those who sin are those who make toba. They repent to Allah Azza wa Jal. So we know that we all sin, and we all need forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. And the best of us is those who correct ourselves, and those who make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us to be of the tawabin. So going back to the dua, Allahumma inni as'alakul huda was sadad. 
you know, O Allah, verily I ask you for guidance. So the, the servant is imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance, to be, to, to be guided, because all of us uh, 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 can be misguided. We can be guided and then become misguided, and that is also, in, uh, we see that in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, which is in uh, a supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in which we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbana la tazid qulubana ba'da the daytan wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al wahab. Rabbana la tazid qulubana. O Allah, here you're, you're imploring your Lord. O my Lord, Rabbana la tazid qulubana. Please don't allow for our hearts to deviate. Rabbana la tazid qulubana ba'da the daytan. After you have guided us. So that's the point, is letting us know that you can become guided and then you can become misguided. All of that is biyadillah. That's in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the relevance of us continually imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for his guidance, asking for straight speech and uprightness, uh, for, for uprightness in general, uprightness in speech, but uprightness in deeds. And all of that is from iman. And that all leads to our success. It leads to forgiveness, as we mentioned in the ayah. And it leads to success. And what is that success? A success. Fi dunya wal akhirah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan wa fil akhirati hasan wa kina dhaab al-nar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.